Brian's been working on the box beam, which is this part here. Oh my gosh. This is like a really cool view. <laughs> wow. This is the only part that he has left and then he can compress the bales down. Oh, these clouds are really cool. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> guys this is about to be a real tedious process uh, I just want to give you a look at this hopefully you can get a feel because I can see it from here but I'm not sure how it's coming through on the camera but you see how everything's kind of all wavy and wonky the stuff's just sitting there right now but I'm hopefully gonna show you kind of an after and I'll show you some of the work going into it but like I said there's gonna be a lot of slow work here um, to put in step one will be to put in kind of cross braces inside these little boxes. I will also attach the boxes to each other and hopefully that'll firm up everything pretty good. And then I'm gonna put a layer of plywood, a thin sheet of plywood underneath the whole thing. And hopefully that turns this, what you see kind of wavy box beam right now and kind of all over the map box beam, turns it into a really nice strong solid piece that of course then I'll have to squeeze down on the wall and there'll be a bunch of adjustments to be made when I squeeze it down. But I just want to get a look. When I was looking across this, I was seeing kind of how everything's all over the place. And I hope the after will show what a difference, uh, how it's nice and solid, hopefully. So we'll check back in a little bit. So I showed the box beam pieces already up on the walls. And you might've been asking why I would put them up there and do all that work of screwing and putting everything together up on the wall on a ladder and all. And while that's a valid point and it's true for some things, but there are, there are aspects of this that I can't do down here. Right. So like, I, I get it. I can't build this into a big 33 foot section and then lift it up onto the wall. Right. I so, get it. <laughs> so, but there are things I can do. I've marked all the positions of where I want the little cross members to be and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can put some of them in. I can't put all of them in because some of them, if I, like some of them are really close to a connection point of two, two pieces. Yes. And if I put this cross member in, I won't be able to screw these two pieces together. So, and I can't screw them together until they're up there. Cause again, I can't lift them up as one long piece. So I have taken it down and I've decided to do some things down here because it is difficult to be on a ladder and screwing that stuff together and it's a pain. So I am doing some of it down here, what I can down here, but I will have to put it up there in pieces and then attach it in place. And I'll have to put a couple of last pieces in place up there because of the order they have to be done. So, and of course the plywood is the same because I want the plywood to offset. I want a plywood to span every joint between a box, right? Between two pieces of the box. So I can't put the plywood on because again, it becomes one long piece. So I have to do it after the fact. So. I understand. So, but that is, I did take it down because it was difficult to do things up there. So I'm going to do as much as I can on the ground before I move it up. And then I'm going to do the last pieces. That makes sense. Up there. Just so do it a section at a time. Good. But this is going much faster, easier on the ground, some of these pieces, because it would have been tough to do it all on a ladder. Yeah, I get it. So that's what I'm doing. Okay.
All right, Brian has been hard at work on the box beam here. So, uh, so start over here. What's happening? And I think, actually I started over there putting it together, but that's all right. So here's what we've got. So here's the box beam. And you can see now on the underside, you can see the plywood on the bottom of it, right? Yes. So now you can see what the box beam is. It's those, it's those two by four boxes on edge. Um, they've got cross, you can't see the cross members because you can't see at the top, but there are cross members in them, much yeah. like down here in the sill plate, right? Right. Little cross pieces. So there's, there's plywood on the bottom so that when we strap over them and pull down, they're gonna squeeze down the bales. Great. So I, I didn't actually start over here, but let's, I'm, I'm finishing up over here. So you can see that I've got this thing all connected. Pieces of box beam are connected to each other. They're all, the plywood's connected to them underneath. And what you can see, you might be able to see the joints, like there's a joint of a two by four box. Right, so and you don't the have joint any joints plywood. over the door box. Yeah, there's no two by four joint over a buck. There can be a plywood joint, that's okay. Okay. But not a two by four joint because that would be a weak spot. So I made sure all the two by four joints are over bales. But the hard part of putting it all together is I wanted to offset the plywood breaks from the two by four breaks because again, that should firm it up a little bit. So, so you can see that I've gone all the way around three sides. I'm on the fourth side now. Mm -hmm. And the issue is, and you're about to see it over here if you come over closer after you scan around. The issue is this. So to do this in place, I have to, you know, I'm putting on the plywood after, you know, I'm putting on the plywood on top of the roof. And since the plywood's on the bottom and I have to screw it in from the bottom, basically I have to keep taking this box as I build it and I have to yank it over this way. And then so push that it I back. So I can get access to this. Then I have to yank it over that way so that I can get access to that side because oh. it is as wide as the bales. Ooh. So there's a lot of just getting up and down off the ladder and, and, Push and pull. shifting things this way and that way so that I can get access to it. Yeah. Now, of course, this would have all been easier to build on the ground, but I can't build this giant square on the ground and pick it up and put right. it on the roof. So, so this is what sense. it had to do. So this is what I wanted you to see. So now that I've got this side hanging over, I've got this piece of plywood in place. This piece isn't in place yet. I mean, it's there, but it's not positioned. This one is. I can now screw along this edge and then shift it to the other side and go out and screw along that side and then start the next piece of plywood. I just have to work it a little bit at a time and I have to keep maneuvering everything. And it gets harder to maneuver because all of these, the three corners are attached. So to move this, I have to sort of move everything. Right. And when I'm done, when I get to the end and I connect that last corner, then I'll have to actually take this whole top thing and, and move it around a ton to get it into position. Number one, it needs to be two things. It needs to be square itself, so the diagonal measurements need to be the same to know that it's not kind of cockeyed, right? Yeah. And number two, it has to be directly over the sill plate. So this is the same thing as the sill plate, just eight feet up in the air. Mm -hmm. So I have to use kind of a, a, a straight edge and, and a level to measure plumb at all the corners and along the way to make sure not only is the, the box beam itself a rectangle that is square, so those diagonal measurements are the same, but it is exactly directly over the sill plate. So there's gonna take a lot of little maneuvering to make that happen. And that, when I get to that point, that's when I can actually strap up over and start squeezing it. And as I squeeze, the, the box beam, I don't think should move around. So it should stay square and over the, the sill plate. Okay. But what I will have to do as I squeeze it down is I might have to maneuver the bale slightly. So as it gets a little bit tight, I can hit a bale and maybe that bale won't. Right now, if I hit a bale, the whole wall would move. Right. But as I start to tighten it down, if I hit a bale, I can actually move one bale without moving the whole wall, you know, within reason, a little bit. So that's, that, that's what that process is going to be, and it's going to be slow. So anyway, this is how I'm putting it all together. So, You're doing a really good job. Thank you. So when I get access to a certain spot, I mark, I mean, I could kind of eyeball this stuff, but I'm kind of marking uh, where I want to put my screws and everything. It's a little overkill, but, but it's all right. I just make a little mark. Overkill, that's not, that <laughs> doesn't sound like you. <laughs> and sometimes, so sometimes the, the two by four boxes can be a little 
you know, bowed and wonky. Sometimes the, the plywood itself can be. So as I go, I have to use a bunch of clamps to kind of maneuver things into position. Sometimes the wood has to be kind of coaxed into, into position. Yeah, I've seen you using a so bunch of clamps. tons of clamps. And I'm constantly moving them and reattaching them. Oh. So that's what this process is. Yeah, that sounds... It basically... Today's the fourth day. It's basically taken me a day to do each wall section. Yep. So this is day four and I should be able to finish it up, I think. All right, guys, I'm sure the wind is going to ruin this audio, but here's a shot of the uh, box beam assembled. It is not strapped over and pulled down yet. Of course, if you can see closely, the, the bales are still taller than the bucks. So I've still got to strap over and, and bring it down. And because of that, you'll see a little bit of, just a little bit of variation, but it's much stronger than it was when I just set those boxes up there. Now that the plywood's on the bottom and all those boxes, those individual boxes are attached to each other. Um, but when I pull it all down, you know, I'll pull it all down to the same exact level. So it'll be, it should be nice and straight when I'm done. Um, and again, because it doesn't really have to act as a, as a bridge in midair, you know, the fact that it's pulling down into the bales means that even where there are a few of those joints, which would be points where, you know, it would, it would tend to bend a little bit because it'll be be pulled down and up force from the bales it should just form a nice straight line basically because i'm gonna strap it i'm gonna cinch it down or ratchet it down to the point that i want and then stop so it should come out nice and straight let's take a walk around uh, so here is the this is the west side the all bale wall um, this is the north there's our front door again i don't know if we'll actually do that would be uh that's a small bathroom window uh there's our front door don't know if we'll actually be using it as our front door or not when we park over in the carport sorry about the sun there when we park over in the carport i'm not sure whether we'll walk to the to this side of the house or the back side of the house but that is technically the regular size front door uh, there's a kitchen window this is now we're walking over to the east side this is where the the sunrise will come in Another kitchen window right there. Sorry about the sun again. Uh, again, there's that box beam. You can see it up there. Uh, okay, heading along the east side. This is the living room. This is our biggest window. It looks out at our best view, which is behind me, which is of Kochi Stronghold. Uh, let's block the sun on. Again, there's that box beam. It's actually decent right now, but it needs to be cranked down. Um, but it's, you know, it's fairly sturdy. And okay, so to the south side, as you can see, the sun's hitting all of it. Um, okay, so there's another window into the living room. There's the big French door, which might become our main entry. I'm not sure. Again, there's the carport over there. I don't know whether we'll walk to this door or that front door. Um, this would be our bedroom window right here. And back to the west side right there. So that's the whole thing. Uh, my next step, so obviously I need to strap it down. I'm gonna walk up top and give you a look at it because I gave you a look at it when I started the box beam work, kind of from up at the top. I want you to see what it looks like from up above. So I'm gonna go up on the ladder there and give you a look. But um, obviously the next step will be to strap this down and squeeze down the bales, squeeze everything down to the level of the bucks and attach to those bucks and, and squeeze all the bales down with strapping. That's gonna take a good bit of effort to make sure all the measurements hold up as I do it. Um, but the next step after that would be to build a small uh, pony wall on this side. This is the south side, so this will be the high side of the house where the trusses will go. We just have a single slope truss. So they'll be on the low side, they'll be sitting on that uh, box beam on that end. And on this end, they'll be up on a pony wall that's almost two and a half feet tall. And it's just big enough to give us some slope. And I'm going to put a couple of small windows in it just for some ventilation and some light. But uh, that's about it. Let's take a look up top. Okay, and there's what the top of the box beam looks like. There's our kind of cross members, uh, but all plywood. 
and there it goes out that way. Cross, over, whoops, and back. So that's what it looks like from the top. It's fairly straight. It does uh, undulate a little bit, but as I cinch it down on top of the bales and the bucks, it should all become very straight and very sturdy. That's it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing or sharing with a friend. And click the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. We really appreciate every view and comment. And if you're looking for other ways to support us, please check out the links in the description box. See, See you in the, the next, next video! video. <laughs>